Many infectious diseases such as HIV AIDS and Hepatitis B can be passed from a sick person to a healthy person through the use of syringes, needles and other instruments that have not been sterilized or disinfected. This includes instruments used for piercing ears, acupuncture and circumcision. Instrument sterilizers are used for disinfecting metal instruments and suitable plastic and glass materials and make them free of germs. Disinfection in boiling water removes microorganisms or reduces them to levels that are no longer harmful. There are different ways to sterilize instruments. Boiling for 20 minutes in a water bath, which is disinfection. Steaming for 15 minutes in a special pressure cooker or autoclave, which is sterilization. Or soaking for 20 minutes in a sterilizing solution, which is chemical disinfection. This training module deals with the electric instrument sterilizer, which uses boiling water to disinfect the instruments. This type of instrument sterilizer is also named a water boiler or water bath. The instrument sterilizer disinfects surgical instruments and other sterilizable items at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius. The objects to be disinfected are placed directly in boiling water for a period of at least 20 minutes. The main parts of the water boiler are the boiler pan, the rack, the lid, electric cord and plug, and the main switch. Thoroughly clean, rinse and dry items before loading them into the sterilizer. Ensure that the cleaning agent used is a chloride-free product. Certain cleaning agents are highly corrosive and these should be avoided. Instruments must be well rinsed to remove all chemical residues and then well dried prior to sterilization. Check the instruments for signs of damage. Make sure that the water can circulate freely around each item. Do not overload the sterilizer. Place heavy items at the bottom and smaller items on top. Make sure that hinged instruments such as forceps or scissors are open. Fill the sterilizer with clean water and make sure that all items are covered with water. Switch the sterilizer on and wait until the water boils. The sterilization time only begins when the water boils. Boil for the required time. Do not leave the sterilizer unattended when it is in use. After the required boiling time, switch off the sterilizer. Remove the boiled items using sterile or disinfected long-handled forceps. Place the items in a sterile metal container to dry before using or storing them. Dry all the instruments with a sterile cloth. Allow the sterilizer to cool down. Drain the water. Clean the sterilizer after each use. Boiling in water is high-level disinfection, not sterilization. Boiling will not kill organisms effectively if items are not cleaned properly. Boiled items must be allowed to dry before use or storage. Boiled items must not be left in the water to avoid recontamination. Make sure that the instrument sterilizer is cleaned after each use. Wipe the outside with a cloth. 
Check the inside of the boiling pan for scaling and clean if necessary. Report any faults. Never use electrical equipment, cords or plugs when damaged. Never remove a plug from a power socket unless the equipment and the socket are switched off. Never remove the plug from a socket by pulling the cord. Always grip the plug. Arrange the cord away from a traffic area to prevent tripping. To protect against electrical shock, never immerse plugs, cords or electrical equipment in water or liquid. The water does not get hot. First check if the sterilizer is plugged into the wall socket. Check if the wall socket is switched on. Check if the water boiler is switched on. Check the thermostat and turn to the appropriate setting. The instruments are not clean after boiling. Make sure that the items are thoroughly clean before placing them in the sterilizer. When loading the sterilizer, make sure that the water can circulate freely around each instrument. The sterilizer corrodes. In areas with hard water, which is a high mineral content, Use rainwater to prevent corrosion and scaling of the boiler pan and the instruments. If the fault cannot be rectified after these checks, the unit should be referred to a suitably qualified person for further inspection.